Today we're going to do an unboxing and test out this meter. Uh, just got this thing in. It's a uh, Unity UT673 PV. And it's designed and its only purpose is to test solar panels. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and see what we got inside here. Got a neat little zipper case. Alright. Got the meter. Now this thing is, it doesn't need any batteries. It's powered off the solar, solar panel that you're testing. Comes with the cables. Got the MC4 connectors on there, and then the banana cables that you plug into the bottom of the meter here. So, this thing will test just about every parameter um, that you need to, to make sure that the solar panel is good. It'll do the um, P max maximum power, open circuit voltage, VOC, and short circuit current, ISC. All at the same time, it shows everything on the, on the meter. Now, this thing has two modes of operation. It's got an auto or a manual mode. In auto mode, it just keeps cycling through. The cycle time de is dependent on the wattage of your, of your solar panel. The higher the wattage, the, the longer the cycle time is uh, to allow the, the components inside to cool down in between. When it, when it shorts the, the solar panel out, it, you know, obviously there's going to be heat on the components inside. So it gives it enough time to, uh, to cool down. And then in manual mode, it, just, it does one cycle. So you press manual, it'll run through the cycle and then display your readings on, on the display. There's a hold button too, so if you're on auto and hit the hold, it'll hold those readings instead of continuously cycling. So basically, this thing, you gotta, you gotta make sure there's a black and a red, obviously, negative, positive. Make sure those are plugged into the right, the right uh, jack, otherwise, you know, if you go backwards, you're going to, you're going to, I mean, it, if you go backwards, it shouldn't harm the meter because it, it's, the instructions say it's reverse polarity protected. So, but still, don't do it. The maximum panel voltage is 60 volts. So don't go above that. And I, I think it's, oh uh, yeah. Power rating 800 watts, so don't go above 800 watts. Um, voltage range test range is 12 to 60 volts, so you can test your 12 volt panels all the way up to 60 volt panels. Uh, the current test range is 0 to 35 amps, so that should cover just about any panel that's out there now. I guess we'll go outside and test this thing out on a on a solar panel. All right, we got a pretty nice sunny day here. There she is. And we're going to test out this panel, which is This panel is let me see. You can expect Maximum power, watts is 250 watts, open circuit voltage is 37.6, voltage at P max 30.3, short circuit amps is 8.85, current at P max we got 8.27, that's all we need really. So let's see how close we can get to that. 
Now this thing is pretty dirty, so let's do a test. Let's do a test before we clean it, and then we'll clean it. See all the gunk and stuff on there. Then we'll clean it and see how much improvement it makes. Hopefully we don't get any clouds in the meantime. So. Connect this thing up. Take this off so you can see it better, I guess. It's got 35.4 volts. Five point five right there. So what were we looking at? Thirty seven point six. All right, let's do a test. Let's do a manual. I'll take you over there so you can see the display. Max, we got 197 watts, VMP 33.4, IMP 5.9 amps, VOC 35.2 volts, ISC 8.5 amps. Alright, what were we? Short circuit current. Specs say 8.85, and we got 8.5, so not too bad for an old panel, plus it's uh, middle of the winter right now, so we're not going to get the best, the best output from this thing, but still not bad. Now let's do, let's put it in auto and see what we got. See, it's counting down, does a test. Next cycle. Two hundred watts. She's holding around 200 watts. Let's see what happens when we do the hold. Okay. Second press of the hold starts it back up. All right, I'm going to go ahead and clean the panel off. Let's see what difference that makes. Okay, panel's kind of cleaned off. A lot better than it was. Let's see here. Put it in auto. 214 watts. Sixteen short circuit amps is staying the same. Thirty three point seven volts.
interesting. I just raised the panel up and I got 264 watts. How about that? That little bit of difference in angle makes quite a difference. I'm about, uh, I might be 30 degrees, somewhere around that. Actually performing better than than the specs. How about that? at about 15 20 degrees I guess well that about does it guys what do you think of this meter I like it makes testing panels really simple plug it in and press a button and all you need you don't need any batteries no ex no extra loads does everything in one meter Let's do a little shading I'm going to put my hand on top of the panel it made a, quite a difference with my hand right there well, that's about it guys let me know what you think of the meter now I I imported this thing myself um, you can get them here on on Amazon I'll put a link to a seller on Amazon in in the description below but there's enough interest I might I might bring a few of these in can probably probably do it for about 80 bucks something like that resell at around 80 I think they're they're, they're on Amazon for a hundred and twenty or thirty so if anybody's interested let me know we can uh, we can put some up on the website if, if there's some interest well, there you have it, guys. If you like this kind of content, go ahead and give it a like. Sure would appreciate it, and it really helps the channel grow. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I appreciate you. Have a good one.